I was five years old. My sister was babysitting, and I asked my parents if I could go with her. She was running bath water for the little girl, and um, the, their older son got a gun that was loaded in his parents' closet that was on the floor. He was seven years old, and he basically didn't have a safety on, and he came out and in the living room where I was at, I was watching the Flintstones, and he just said, I'm gonna shoot you. I was frantic. I got up to run towards my sister. I started to run towards the back of the house, and it was too late. He pulled the trigger. I fell to the ground, and my legs were burning. My sister actually picked me up, and she threw me over her shoulder and started running. And it was a quarter of a mile to our house. And she ran, um, all, the, all the, the entire way screaming. She ran me straight home. My dad was home and um, he threw me in the back seat of the car and I just remember uh, waking up at Pontiac General Hospital. I had lost about 40% of my blood and it wasn't good. They said that they didn't think I was going to make it. I remember waking up from surgery and and um, my parents telling me when you, know, when you got shot, uh, your leg stopped working at that point. My parents and my family really made me, they didn't treat me any different, you know. We did the same things that we used to do and, you know, we used to go to like amusement parks. They still took me to amusement parks. They still, you know, my house didn't change. My household didn't change. I actually started looking into stem cell research and along that path, I was guided to REM. <laughs> they have me up walking. I do much more cardio, crawling, um, the stem bike. My muscles are getting stronger. Um, my legs are straighter. I'm not really interested in the stem cell at this time. I'm progressing enough here at REM. I don't really feel like I need it at this point. If I hadn't have been at REM and practicing and um, working with my therapist and my trainers, there's no way I would have been able to dance at my wedding. As soon as I stood up and my husband wrapped his arms around me, it was perfect. I didn't really realize people were bawling in tears. I didn't realize it until the dance was over because I just enjoyed it and made it special for us. My motto is to think outside the chair. It just doesn't define me. I, I am who I am. I think um, if I had my legs, I was up walking and everything, I still think this is the person I would be. It's just an accessory. I consider it an accessory in my life. <laughs>